September 22nd, 2017. We are doing a tarot card reading as well as an angel card reading for the day. So all we're doing is just pulling up a few cards to see what is happening. I hope that you're all having an awesome day. Um, feeling some kind of funky energy. So um, between myself and what's going on, I've been a little bit sick. So, um, But if you listen to my weekly reading, you can follow along and kind of understand how these days are kind of playing out. Because um, actually what's happening is there's a failure to participate in the things that we're supposed to be doing. So it's like people are forgetting about themselves or they're forgetting about other people. So relationships are really important right now. How you um, spend your time, how you base your time, that sort of thing. So it's all because we're trying to change. So we're actually evolving as a whole right now. There's someone watching specifically that's not paying attention close enough attention to their intuition. They're trying really hard, but I think they're getting frustrated. So um, if you need a Reiki session or you need a personal reading, please feel free to contact me about that um, because it's becoming repetitive. If you feel like you're not able to align yourself with um, your intuition, then you may be struggling. Okay, so Nine of Pentacles is saying it's you are very independent and independent study is actually very positive right now. So if you can do that, that would be better than working with others. But we can't isolate ourselves. So again, finding that balance. Um, benefits are also coming up. So focusing on, on benefits is huge. So that can be financially, but also our pros when we're trying to weigh out decision making as well. So Six of Cups is saying um, the rule of thirds is coming up, but it's just really... So for me, I'm doing photography. The rule of thirds is very important. So, uh, But it's like, what is it that you need to focus on? So I don't know if you can see, but my cat really wants in. So that's funny. Um, so again, focusing on the positive emotions, focusing on what makes you feel good, etc. <coughs> we'll see if I can even do this reading. <coughs> Excuse me, bear with me. So um, Six of Swords is saying you are moving in a positive direction. That's why I'm talking about that we're evolving. Music is really important for the arts and therapy today. But, um, <coughs> excuse me, uh, just focusing on how you feel and why you feel that way. Wowzers! So Six of Pentacles, there is balance. There's a repetition right now. So catching your patterns. Um, <coughs> Excuse me. Wow. Six of Pentacles is saying that it's not time. You need to really focus. So if there are other things that you want to be doing, you need to focus. And when it comes to finances, you're okay. So don't let any worries come in with the finances. And that's probably why the Seven of Pentacles is coming up. It's saying that we know that we should be taking a risk or we can take a risk, but we're unsure. So my answer to you would be take the risk. Um, it's clear and evident that you just need to keep moving forward. There are signs everywhere that you should in terms of having faith and moving forward in the way that you really deeply want to. So often what happens is that when we choose a path that's going to bring us joy, there's always risk. And so that's what scares people and it pulls them off the path. So learning the differences between that, and that's where intuition is so powerful that we just have to trust it. And the Empress is saying that um, this has been coming through continuously, so obviously the same person needs the same messages. Um, it's saying that your children need to be careful what they're watching, you need to be careful what you're watching, what you're exposed to on the television. Um, it's very, it's influencing you very strongly. So Queen of uh, Swords is saying that it's about strength, it's about um, teaching. That's been coming through very strongly, so that's why probably parenting is coming up because really we're always role modeling, so being mindful that we are role models for others, especially youthful children. So judgment, when it comes to money, again, stop worrying. You are um, kind of where you need to be financially. Even if you're not in a plus, you may be in the minuses, it's still okay because there's something really positive with um, finances right now, we are actually shifting and moving in a positive direction, even if it's just from a learning standpoint. Nine of Cups, is this is saying that we are moving into a bit of a fantasy place in our minds, which can be a very good thing if it is keeping you in a positive state. So, um, getting more excited about your ideas, that sort of thing. Sharing it is very positive. If you're a person that doesn't like to share your ideas, then I would suggest just um, creating a planner and then 
it's like you're talking to yourself through your planner and you're just like, oh, this is exciting and get to do X, Y, and Z. We should all be doing that, but I mean, if you, it's even better to express it to someone if you can, okay? And then last card is Two of Pentacles. This is saying, talking again about balance and finances. So although I was saying you don't need to worry, the main thing is, you, the reason why you don't have to worry is because you are moving forward. Now, if you're a person that's not moving forward, then you need to be very cautious, okay? So continuous movement, continuous flow. We are going to pull out one angel card, or whatever pops up. How about that? Laughter is... is uh, needs to be like prominent right now as well so um, as you can see I'm not feeling overly well so just lear learning to laugh and, and smile and that sort of thing I wish I wish you guys could see more of my cat because he's just loving it right now so law of attraction um, that's why I was saying there are signs everywhere um, it's really important that you're healing right now that you're going through a stage that you're going through a process trying not to analyze too much trying not to be hard on yourself at this time again if you watch my weekly reading more of this will make sense and um, the last thing I just want to point out is be cautious about who is in your circle making sure that you're hanging on to people very tightly that you love because you may find if you're not expressing that to others that they won't know exactly how you feel okay so i hope that that was helpful please feel free to comment and like share and i appreciate everyone who's been subscribing and um, following me on instagram and liking me on facebook so i hope you guys have an awesome day i love you all bye